Hey y'all, it's been a while. It's been a couple of weeks, but here I am. This is Demia. If this is your first time visiting, thank you so much for stopping by. If you have been here before, thank you so much for your continued support and coming back week after week or month after month or however often you come back. Thank you so much. So this is a continuation of my weight loss journey. Look at this ugly burn I got here from years ago. If this is your first time and you have not checked out all my other videos, please make sure you go back so that you will know where I'm coming from today. And even if you've been here before, if I haven't caught up on everything, go back and watch. So two weeks ago, I did do my weigh-in. Today is Sunday. So two weeks ago, Friday. No. So not this past Friday, but the Friday before. I did get on a scale and I had gained... 0.4 pounds and if you had watched the week before that I told you how I got on the scale it was one pound got off the scale 30 seconds later got back on if even that long because I forgot to take the photo to show my accountability partner I had gained a pound so I went with the higher pound because it is what it is so again a week ago Friday when I got on the scale I was four tenths of a pound heavier and I must say that during those two weeks, so not this past week, but the week before that and the week before that, I was not focused. And not that I wasn't caring, I think I was just tired. I was just too mentally drained to care about what I was eating. I wasn't, I didn't prep any meals. I was eating not balanced meals. Like I remember one night I had um, I have these mini quiches and they're literally mini so they're about yay big um, regular quiche and spinach quiches I had like three of those with some french fries and some chicken fries still on my small plate because remember I'm eating off of a small plate still on my small plate that's what I had and years ago I remember watching or reading something that when you eat your plate should have color so you know when you watch children eat and they have chicken fingers and french fries, the whole plate is brown, right? There's no green vegetables, there's no orange vegetables, there's no variety, everything is brown. If everything brown, if everything on your plate is brown, <coughs> excuse me, there's a problem. And that's what my plate was, brown. There were no vegetables. And um, I just wasn't caring for those two weeks. Um, I wasn't exercising regularly like I should have um but uh so me gaining those four tenths of a pound I was thankful that it was only four tenths of a pound well this past week two days ago when I did my weigh-in I had lost 1.6 pounds so I got my focus back um I think the last time I did a recording I was saying how my birthday's coming in less than two months now and I want to lose 25 pounds by that date. I had originally wanted to lose 50, but God had another plan. So I'm still working on trying to lose the 25. So I have about, um, I'm still like nine pounds to go. Um, so I am keeping my fingers crossed that I can do it. Um, last week I went back to eating more vegetables. I was making sure my meals were balanced, so I ate a lot of fruit, I ate a lot of veggies, and then incorporated some things um, with that as well. I, um, I had mentioned before how I wanted to start getting up early before I go to work, God help me, to get some exercise in. Well, I've managed to do that. I have gotten up a few mornings at 4.30, I have been able to get a 20, I think the workout I do is like 23 minutes of pure cardio. And it's through Fitness, it's an app on my phone. And I started using them when the world shut down because of the pandemic. Um, and they have some good exercises. So if you are, I don't know if you had, I don't think, you, I used to be a member of Planet Fitness. I stopped a couple years ago because I'm able to work out at work. Um, but, if you go on Planet Fitness, I think they're free workouts that you can do at home. 
So I have gotten up a few mornings and I have done the 23 minute workout before going to work. And as a result of that, by the time I get home from work, eat dinner, sit down, I'm exhausted. Another thing I've been wanting to do is go to bed at a reasonable time, which I have definitely been doing. I'm in the bed every night by nine o'clock. Some nights it's like 9.15, 9.20, but majority of the time I am in the bed now at 9 o'clock. And um, I have a nightly phone call that I make between 9 and 10 every night. And then after that, I go to bed. I'm actually no phone, nothing. No phone, just the TV. And the TV helps me go to sleep. So I'm a TV junkie and all the new shows are back. But I have not stayed up at all to watch them. So what did I do yesterday? Saturday, I spent the day in bed catching up on all my shows. Pathetic life? I don't know. I don't care. It's just like if a guy was sitting all day watching football, right? My football are my TV shows from the week. And that's what I did all day yesterday. I still have a few more I have to watch today. But at least I did get up and I got out and I did some things for this day. So my weight loss journey continues. Um, oh, this week is Thanksgiving. Thanks week Thanksgiving is in four days. And what do I want to do on Thanksgiving? I want to eat all the right stuff that you're supposed to eat on Thanksgiving. So our menu right now is turkey and a turkey ham and mac and cheese and stuffing and cabbage and cranberry sauce and rolls and uh, my mother's making a sweet potato pie she's making a pound cake <laughs> now how I'm supposed to eat all of that on Thursday and then wait on on Friday Mm -hmm. I don't know, but I'm going to get it in. So I'm going to do everything I can. I might weigh in on Thursday. <laughs> Maybe I'll weigh in on Thursday instead of Friday because, yeah, I'm going much. I'm not a big macaroni and cheese fan, so I really don't have to eat that. But I do want to eat some turkey. I do want to eat some turkey ham. And I do want to eat some stuffing. And I do want to eat some cabbage. And dang it, I'm going to eat it. So I'm going to try to really stick to portion control. Just have a little bit of everything. And just not go overboard on Thursday. And then after I weigh in on Friday, because Friday is usually the day I try to use as a cheat day. And then Friday, I will get it in. And then refocus for next week. So that's my story. Um, the struggle is still real. The weight loss journey is still real. The weight loss journey is still happening. It's still a daily mental process that I have to go through. Conscious of my portions, conscious of what I eat, conscious of what I buy. And then still trying to balance out my meals because I've realized that um, my meals aren't and I noticed a couple days this week that my stomach was actually growling so I need to when I sit down to eat try to have more stuff so just eating an apple with peanut butter for breakfast doesn't work I need to have like an apple with peanut butter and some nuts and then when I sit and have my you know like I said my mother said a couple weeks ago you're eating pretzels what are you eating with the pretzels you gotta dip it in something so I just want to try to eat fuller, balanced meals. So this morning, I had a bowl of cereal and some pineapple chunks and two pieces of sausage. I know that sounds like a very weird combination, <laughs> but I didn't want to... I usually cook breakfast on the weekends for um, my boo and I, and it's always, you know, he gets bacon, sausage, and grits, and eggs, and waffles, or hash browns, or something, all those, some kind of combination of all of that. 
um, on the weekends. But today I didn't want all of that. So I just had the cereal and the pineapple chunks. And then while I was cooking, I, oh no, and then next to me, I had to do these massages. Anyway, um, I don't know what we're having for dinner tonight. Mm -hmm. But uh, yesterday we had tacos for dinner. And I put all the good stuff on it. Lettuce, tomato, cheese, sour cream. But for lunch yesterday, I did have a salad, a chef salad, a pre-made chef salad. And uh, yeah, that's my story. So I do have some behind the scenes footage of some workouts that I've done, my early morning 4.30 in the dark workouts that I do, cause I don't turn on a light when I get up it's too early. I can't have light that early. So I do exercise in the dark. The only light is shining from the iPad. Um, some workouts I've done at work. Some foods I've had and probably should not have had. Some foods I should have had and some foods I should not have had. But it's okay, because again, I'm only human. This is a process. And as long as I keep moving forward, that's the important part, right? So, I think that's all I've got. The important thing for me is to stay focused. Stay focused, stay focused, stay focused. And get the cardio in. I gotta always get the cardio in at least three, four times a week. I have to, I have to. It's just gotta happen. So fingers crossed. Fingers crossed, fingers crossed. Happy Thanksgiving to you all. Thank you so much for stopping by. What are some things you're going to eat for Thanksgiving? Mm -hmm. If you're on a weight loss journey at all, how are you not going to fill your plate with every single thing that you cook? Because this is a pandemic, it will only be me, my mother, and Imani. And my boo will be passing through, I believe. Because um, he has another location that he's going to go to. And uh, and then it's a long break too. Praise Jesus. We get five days off. Wednesday to Monday. So I only work Monday, Tuesday this week. And then I only work two weeks after that. And then I go on vacation. Where am I going on vacation, you may ask? None of your business. <laughs> it's private. So... Again, thanks for stopping by. Like, comment, share, subscribe. Make sure you hit the bell when you subscribe so you can be notified of every time I upload a video. Bye. y'all so we are about to eat dinner from one of our favorite pizza places when we did a muffin mm -hmm. and me imani and my mother and this is plain cheese for imani because she's born mediterranean mom was on us tomatoes onions feta cheese feta mm -hmm. cheese and then this right here it's called the Veggie 13. I don't know what they said. They said goat cheese, pesto, tomato, and I don't know. And then this is a barbecue chicken. This right here. And then this under here, my mother got sausage and pepperoni. And mushrooms. And mushrooms. Because she said, don't forget it's mushrooms. We about to tear this up. And again, this is all organic pizza. Oh, here we go. 
organic pan crust pizza yeah. and it is delicious <laughs> and what i get to drink oh, we're gonna try this long as long as <laughs> organic lemonade and tea so hopefully this is good as well and imani always gets a cream soda bon appetit Tuesday night, around 10 o'clock. I should have been in the bed an hour ago, but life happens. I just set my clock to wake up, oh, excuse that thing now, to wake up tomorrow morning at 4.30 to work out before I go to work. Do you think I can do it? We'll see. Good night.